In this video, let's create a basic walk cycle. And for the, our basic walk cycle, let's use one of our Maya's free um, models. So I'm going to go to Windows General Editor and under General Editor, let's click on Content Browser. In Content Browser, let's go to Examples, Modeling, uh, Bipads, and let's grab this uh, guy, Monster Wolfman. I think he looks pretty cool. I'm going to double click on him. And I'm going to press A on my keyboard. And now he appeared in the middle of my grid, which is uh, really nice. So let's go ahead and turn on our wireframe so we can see the topology. I like to see it just it's personal choice. We don't really need it. Um, but before we can make him walk, obviously, he doesn't have any joints. So we need to rig him up. And let's not um, get too crazy. Let's just do auto rig here in Maya. So nice and basic. So while he's selected, I'm going to go to skeleton, click on quick rig, and go to step by step, press plus. And then I'm going to say plus on geometry. I'm going to add him in. I'm going to say create on step two. And once you press create on step two, you can see all the joints have been automatically placed. Let's go ahead and press space bar, go into our front view, press A. And let's just double check the position of the joints that were automatically created. We can grab our move tool and individually move each joint to where we think it should be. Maybe the foot is a little bit lower. The ankle looks good. The knee looks good. The thigh looks good. The spine is fine. The wrist, I would say, is here. The elbow is probably somewhere here. And the shoulders are okay. I would say the neck is probably here. And the actual head, let's put it in the middle of his head. So nice and easy. Let's hold on the shift key and select all the joints that we have just moved around. Um, essentially just all the ones on the right side. Then in step three, I'm going to mirror them to the left. And you can watch, for example, look at these joints as you press, press this button. So this one is going to go from right to left. If you moved your joints on the left, then you want to go from left to right. So essentially, this will create our symmetry. I'm going to click here. He looks nice and symmetrical. And now I'm going to say create. This creates our, our rig with the controllers. And now we're just going to say skinning. So we're going to skin this rig to our character automatically without doing a, much of anything. And now if we go to our perspective view and grab our, uh, let's grab our waist here, we can see that the character is rigged and is ready for animation. All right, so let's create our basic walk cycle. To do it, I'm going to go to my timeline, create 24 keyframes at 24 frames per second. That is fine. And let's go ahead and select all the controllers by just dragging a box, clicking and dragging a box around the entire thing. You can see all the controllers has been selected. I'm going to go to, go to keyframe one and press S. Then let's go ahead and create a first pose for our basic walk cycle. So to do that, I'm going to grab his foot and just move it forward. Grab his back foot, move it back. And also, let's go ahead and grab his arm. And let's go ahead and bend it a little bit and move it forward, opposite of his uh, legs. And now let's do the same thing with this. I'm going to grab this and move it back. So this would be essentially my first pose of my walk cycle. All right. Let's go ahead and go to 24 and select all the controllers once again and press s on the keyboard as well so now 1 and 24 are identical so if we press play he will not be doing anything but he's just holding the same pose on 1 and 24. all right so let's go between the 1 and 24 which is 12 and let's just simply flip this over and to do this we're going to do it manually we're going to now drag the right foot back grab the left foot and move it forward. And I realize that it might not be exactly the same precisely, 
but I'm okay with that because I want my basic walk to be kind of organic. It doesn't need to be exactly the same. Uh, maybe this will give it a little better feel, right? So it's not so robotic. I'm going to move this arm up and then move this arm back. So now this is the second pose. Now if we press play, he'll obviously just slide in place, which is kind of cool, but doesn't really look like a walk cycle yet. So let's go to a frame between 1 and 12, which is 6. And as he slides his left foot forward, right? As he slides it forward, let's lift it up. So I'm going to grab this and just simply lift it up a little bit. Maybe grab his toes and kind of move him down. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for his right foot. As his right foot comes forward on 18, let's go ahead and lift this up just like we did with the other one. Grab his toes and move him down just a little bit. And now if we press play, he has this basic walk cycle, but it doesn't look like his hips are moving anywhere. The hips are just stay, staying still. And let's fix that. So now as he moves his left foot down, maybe his hips can also follow and just kind of lean into that direction just a little bit. And then as he comes back up, and puts his right foot forward, maybe he leans towards his right foot just to put a little weight on it. And if we wanted to, we can copy uh, our waist controller, go to frame one and press paste to make sure it matches. Now if we press play, it already looks a little better. It looks like there is some weight to him. Okay, great. Now let's go and see as he moves his foot up, maybe his waist can also come up. So he's actually, this is like the height point of his walk. And let's do the same thing on 18. Let's move this up as well. Now if we press play, we're really starting to feel like he has a little weight to him, a little gravity. This is great. If we wanted to, we can keep polishing our animation. Maybe as his foot comes down, we can grab his head controller and just move it down a little bit. Maybe we can do the same thing with his other foot. I'm gonna copy, make sure one and 24 are identical. Now if we press play, we have a little head movement, we have the waist movement and now, as you can see, this is the basic walk cycle template, uh, which you can use to further polish your animation. You can create different uh, things and different attitudes and even make a run cycle in a similar fashion. So I hope you found this useful and have fun uh, animating and rigging your uh, characters. I'll see you in our next video.